Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today, it is time to give this guy a try right here. It's going to be Leoric, who got introduced a couple hours ago. I managed to squeeze in a couple games with him so far and he's actually really, really, really fun to play. Now, one thing to note right off the bat is that this guy is marked as a warrior. And I can imagine that a lot of you will be like, okay, warrior means he's a tank, right? For the most part, he's really not a tank. He's more of like a brawler type guy um, that happens to also be able to take a bunch of damage. Does that make any kind of sense whatsoever? Like, we have a lot of self-sustain, we have a lot of healing uh, from ourselves. Um, but if you if you focus too much on damage talents, I've noticed that you just simply go down a lot. Now, we do have an artist in this team as well. There's no one in the bot lane right now. We do need someone over there. But we should be okay. Anyways, I'll go over all of the abilities, all of the talents and whatnot that we have available when playing Leoric or while playing the game. First talent we're going to be picking is going to be Block, which shouldn't really require very much of an introduction at all. Let's see if we can take that guy out. And uh, we can. Very nice. Um, but yeah, Leoric, very interesting character. I don't think there's very many like him um, in the game as it is right now. Most of the warriors are very tanky or very flimsy. And Leoric feels like kind of a mix between that. I actually assumed he was going to be an assassin uh, when he first got, um, you know, when he first got announced because, well, you know, he has this massive club that he swings around. And obviously, this is going to be a skin, uh, you know, that uh, that makes him look a little different, which is, by the way, really awesome. I'm really liking the direction that they have with the skin. But anyways, first ability is going to be that big ass swing right there, which is my cute skeletal swing. And what happens is you basically deal a massive amount of damage. It is great for cleaning up minions. It's great for cleaning up, um, you know, heroes as well. And it just does a heck of a lot of damage. It's very, very good. We need someone in each lane, guys. We need someone in every lane, please. Then we have the W. W is going to be Drain Hope. Drain Hope basically allows you to... Um, heal yourself up and steal life from an enemy. So this is a skill shot. So I do need to hit it on an enemy, else it wouldn't, you know, do very much. So I'm gonna try and move in here right now, and there we go, that is Drain Hope right there. Oh, I didn't actually hit it, he pushed me away just in time. Um, which, um, which is a relatively powerful ability, it's relatively good. I need some help, guys. Can I, can I get any? Probably not, nope, not when Uther is around. Not when Uther is around, I'll just go clean up some, uh, some minion waves then. Uh, you can only use the Drain Hope on enemy heroes, so what happens is you basically apply it to them, and as long as you stay close to them, you will be able to, um, you know, take the increased... Uh, healing so right here you can see it like you can see he's affected by it I can still just walk around just fine. It's just that you know I'm gonna be a little more useful now one important thing to note as well about the skeletal swing that I didn't mention yet is that it slows enemies So you know the slow is where it's really all about obviously the damage is nice But the slow is is what gives him so much utility there we have the E ability E ability is gonna be mostly my escape basically what happens It's it's kind of like the well, We gotta be careful here um, I don't know who we're focusing, but I don't think we should be here I'm sorry, I couldn't save you right there. Uh, next talent we're gonna be picking, by the way, is going to be um, the Willing Vessel, so we get some more healing done by ourselves. <clears throat> All right. Anyway, so the W ability does some self-healing as long as I stay close in range. The Q ability does a lot of damage and it slows enemies down that are affected by it, and obviously it's a massive arc. But you can see right there, I walked out of the distance and it didn't really do a whole lot. That's, by the way, the normal skin of him right there. Uh, then we have the E ability as well. E, ab e ability is called Wraith Walk. And this actually seems um, pretty much similar to the video that I made yesterday of... Um, of um, Reaper in, in Overwatch. Basically what happens, I stand still, but my Wraith will be spawning right there. And once it times out, or once I cancel it, I will automatically walk towards that Wraith. So it's a really nice little ability to get in and out of trouble. Uh, especially because you're gonna be... Um, you know, especially because you can use it to gank up on enemies, right? Like, you're much faster than you normally are, and you don't need to, um, you don't need to, um, worry so much about... Oh, this is fine for me. I'll take it. You don't need to worry so much about, um... Ugh. I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> you don't need to worry so much about, um, mounting up and whatnot, is what I was gonna say. Now, I am a little bit low in health. Not the biggest fan of this. Um, I'll be going to... Yeah, I'm going back real quick. I know that the bolt one is going to be active in like 10 seconds. Um, or something like that. So we're just going to go back. Heading towards bolt. They are going to be level 7 before us, sadly. Because there's no one in the mid lane right now. Which is a little unfortunate. But we should be able to be in the bolt lane in time. Uh, for the second shrine to go up. Uh, all in all though, this hero is very, very cool to play. He does a lot of damage. Um, he can sustain himself quite well as well. Uh, especially with the talents that I'm picking in this video. Gonna be just focusing on a lot of healing. We're gonna go with the Renewal right there as well, which will give me more... 
uh, and more um, self-sustained. So basically, I can activate this, and it will regenerate a bunch of life. Okay, we do need help here, though. Okay, Sylvanas is going in as well. Now, I can use my W ability here, or my E ability to go in, which is not a bad idea. I'm going to activate it right now. Oh, I hope that we'll be able to get him, but didn't quite. Did activate my one ability as well. Now, what I've noticed is that a lot of these, um, a lot of the Leorix are moving too far forward. Like, they're moving way too far ahead. Like I mentioned, you know, you don't really, you, you do have your E to get out of trouble, right? But you don't really have a lot of, like, I don't know exactly what it is. Like, you seem to go down relatively quickly, whereas, like, on a tank like Muradin or whatever, um, I seem to be, I seem to be staying alive for a much longer amount of time. Now, this is good, by the way. We are dishing out a lot of damage here, and we're getting the train, which is good. Alright, so I'm gonna activate my ability here and activate it preemptively once again to get out of trouble. Um, by the way, when I do die, which I am not gonna do, but when I die, <laughs> I'll try not to do, uh, I will basically not actually die. I will still be walking around and that's what makes this hero really interesting. Uh, because even when I'm dead, I can still haunt my enemies. Now, sadly, I won't be able to solo this one by myself. But even when I'm dead, I will still be able to be annoying to my enemies and basically ensure myself of uh, constantly slowing the enemy down. So what happens is I go down, um, I will become a spirit or like a wraith or whatever. Oh well, I didn't want to showcase it. Oh, I'm alive! I'm alive! I'm alive! <laughs> I didn't want to, I didn't want to showcase it right there, but basically when I go down, I become this spirit type thing, and the spirit type thing basically gives us uh, or gives me the ability to still spawn my QW ability, and those abilities you know, both slow down the enemies, so I don't do any damage, but I slow them down. But on top of that, I will actually reduce my own death timer. So, you know, there's there's some cool tricks to be had with this guy. I wouldn't build him, um, you know, for dying, obviously. I mean, your opponents still do get experience when you do go down. So you want to try and not die. But for the most part, um, dying is not that big of a deal, you know? It's kind of like it's kind of like Uther dying. I mean, Uther dying is, is not great, but we well, should probably be heading towards the bot lane as well. I actually assumed they were all gonna leave immediately, but they obviously did get level 10. I don't know if I like this too much, though. We are gonna go for the, um... For the March of the Skeleton King. Uh, at level 10, which is one of my heroics. We got two heroics, one is for damage, one is for basically, you know, picking off a single target and, um... Basically, you know, entombing them. It's a nice little ability, we should probably try and force a fight here if we can. I'm just gonna go to the bot lane right now. We're gonna go with the March of the Black King though. March of the Black King is an AoE spell that gives us a lot of damage. It's great on most maps. Uh, it's a little tricky to hit. Technically speaking, it is a skill shot, as you can see. Um, so you gotta make sure you use it at the correct moment. Cooldown on it is, I believe, 75 seconds. Oh, it's 80 seconds, alright. So it's nothing, it's nothing too bad. Alright, we're gonna use it right here. So basically what happens, I will start charging forward just like that. And do a heck of a lot of damage. Okay, gotta move forward once again over here. Trying to use my slow here, but it's not gonna be in time. I'm gonna be forced back. Uh, but yes, the, the heroics that we got sort of feel similar to that of the Butcher. You see the Butcher right here, by the way. Who also has like one chain and then one, um, you know, one damage dealing spell. I'm gonna be heading towards the middle lane. Um, now, I can sustain myself quite well. I don't really want to take a 2v1 fight. Although I could have, most likely, but... <clears throat> I don't have nearly as much birds though as the as the butcher. All right, some butcher on butcher action here. We're using the same exact skills. <laughs> All right, Uther or uh, Artis, can we get some help? Okay, we do have to bolt on one right now. Butcher is sitting in there. Okay, nice. Silence, silence, silence. Get him, get him, get him. Oh man. The Lily heals are a little too much. Okay, so he did go for the other heroic right there. You can see it. Uh, the nice thing, by the way, about my about my um, W ability is that it does go through walls and whatnot. So if I like barely don't pick off someone, I can still activate that and ooh, oh my god, so close. <laughs> you gotta jinx him a little bit, but you can you can still you know you can still kill someone off. Let's say for example. Um, let's say, for example, I'm walking right here and the gate is still up, right? And I almost kill someone. I can throw in my W ability and, like, sort of hug the gate. And that way they will still take the damage from the W. And I basically steal that life from them. Uh, which is um, something that most people are not quite used to, I've noticed, when uh, when playing this guy. I happened to pull it off a couple times. Uh, but so far we're doing quite well. As you can see, damage-wise, we're, we're up there. 
uh, with uh, with uh, Sylvanas. Obviously, Sylvanas will be much stronger fast, like level 16. Um, but still, you know, like it's quite okay. We have also been tanking a lot more than our uh, Uth or than our Arthas has been doing, which probably comes down to the fact that he hasn't really been in very many team fights. But next talent we are going to be going for is going to be uh, Drain Momentum. So normally, normally my uh, Q ability or my W ability runner. Is he really going this deep? Well, I can use my ult here, but normally it gives me like a a, a, a slow, I suppose, that um, you know makes it pretty difficult to uh, to get back into the battle. Uh, Drain momentum basically removes that, so it's quite nice. Uh, I'm not completely certain about the best, best talent picks yet. Uh, I do know that this guy does not have. All right, we're gonna activate it here. So that's a lot of damage that we managed to dish right there. Uh, I do know that this guy does not have um, his uh, siege mode activated anymore. Although I'm not the biggest fan of this situation here. We're gonna activate my Wraith Wolf. Get out of there. Gotta be careful here. Getting a little too low in life. I don't have any sustain anymore. Unless I can get my W off. But there we go. He's gonna boost out of there with his emergency thrusters. Ooh, dang it. So I do end up falling right there. A little unfortunate, but basically what happens right now, I can save Artis from getting in trouble, from getting out of trouble, right? So right now I am dead. It's, I guess, a good showcase, right? Of this new hero. I am dead, but I can still slow my enemies down and be a complete annoyance to them. Uh, so right there, that's huge. He's actually dead, I think. I got my slow once again on him. Gotta keep slowing him. Come on, Butcher. Come on, Butcher. Get him. So I will respawn right where I died. It certainly, uh, certainly didn't quite get there. Okay. No, we should just back, guys. Just back. I'm gonna try and slow him down, but I think this is a little too over-greedy by you, Mr. Artis. And I gotta watch out here. I can get easily slowed here as well. Nice little... Oh my god. That's pretty bad. Oh well. I actually completely missed most of the skills, or most of the shots right there. Alright. We gotta really try and team up more though, because this is not looking that great. Um, we're gonna have to like, we're gonna have to try and get like one shrine maybe, but it's currently a 2v5, which is something that we can't really do very well. Uh, but yeah, they do get the full experience for me dying, so that's just something to not forget about. Like, you, you still wanna be very careful. Okay, so we can't easily take this guy out right now. For focusing on him, that is. But I don't wanna overdo it, obviously. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. Like we just simply don't have the extra talent that our enemies are having, and they have a lot more heroes up. Okay, looks like we're going mid. No, we can't go mid anymore. It's a bit too late. Well, we can try, but all right. Well, it looks like we will be able to get the final shots off at the very least, potentially getting us to level 16 as well. Level 16, we got a couple really good talents. We can go for the self heal, or we can go for the second swing on my Q ability. Uh, both are on my Q ability, by the way. Couple good options there. Oh, wow. So that that's the other ability, right? Like it, it's very useful. I find it I find it a little difficult to use though. Maybe uh, maybe I didn't really use it in the correct like opposing teams, but okay. So here we go. Boom! March of the Black King. Get them all hit. Get them all hit. Oh my God! The amount of damage here is insane, but. Pretty difficult. Alright, we are gonna go with the Consume Fatality, which will give me extra healing. Sadly, Lily is moving in right now as well. We needed someone to stop her from doing that sick heal of hers. She's getting the full duration off. Okay. Oh my god, so close. Oh, well, Art is left, so I can't do very much. He's very low in health. Alright. But yeah, you can see, right? Like, we, t we we basically got out of that fight with minimal amounts of health loss. And that's just because of all of the talents that I've been picking. I've been trying to make him super tanky here and a little bit less damage focus, and it does work very well. So you can see so far, we've been tanking a crazy amount of damage. Um, and we've been dishing out actually the highest amount of damage in my team as well, at least up to this point. Like I mentioned, though, Sylvanas is going to be really good at this level. But it's fine. We're going to have to go back real quick. Grabbing some more manas, uh, but yeah, all in all, um, yeah, we've actually been topping hero and siege damage on, on the freaking tank, right? 
which is kind of funny. Like, you can you can spend other talents. So let's say I wanted to go for Hopelessness right here, which will increase the range on my W ability, which means I don't have to, like, be as close all the time. And then you can even go for... Uh, well, there's still the Willing Vessel over here, but you can go for... Uh, the Ghastly Reach right here, or even for the Paralyzing Rage, which is sort of like the Frost Arrow from um, from Vala. You can get that at level 7, you can get a crazy amount of utility and less tankiness, I suppose, but it should still work out just fine. Okay, we do need everyone here. We do need everyone here. Okay, that's a wasted end to him. I'm gonna be using my March of the Black King right here. Basically got them all hit beautifully. Once again, we have no one to stun out Lily. Oh, there we go. We finally got a stun out. Nice! Great fight for us so far. Gotta make sure that we kill him. Very close to killing them all. Okay, I'm gonna be moving forward here. Okay. The very least we'll be able to get him, but obviously he's a panda. Pandas never die. Alright. So that was good. That was very, very good. Now at level 20, we get an ability called Death March. And Death March basically makes it that whenever I use my uh, March of the Black King ability, which is, you know, my heroic. Uh, it basically makes it so that that ability will now also start being... Um, it will now also start applying the W ability. So, whenever I use the R, it will also start applying my W. Which means that whenever I use that in the middle of a team fight, right, and I act affect a bunch of people or a bunch of enemies uh, with my March of the Black King, which is like the big swing thing, they will all also start giving me health. So, it, it both applies more damage and more sustain for me. It's by far the best talent, I think, at level 20. It's pretty good. Obviously, if you go for the other heroic ability, you may want to go for another talent there. Sadly, I won't be able to keep you alive. I'm trying to not body block you here, but... Well, she's alive. Very good. Very nice. Alright. Gonna activate my heroic here once again. Although, I don't know if that was the smartest choice, because not all of our team is here. Cooldown on it isn't that long. <laughs> yeah, no, we need to back up. I'm too low in health here. Guys, please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Oh my god, they're still warming. Why, 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 why are you staying in the fight, bro? Can you not? Oh my god, they're all gonna go down. I don't know where they're staying. I know they're getting slowed by their Leoric, right? But I don't know. You, you could have disengaged ages ago. And now, me and Sylvanas, or uh, what's his name? We won't go down. I did manage to save him right there for the most part. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So I bought a lot of time there. Good. Yeah, sometimes you you have like teammates that are overextending, right? And then you actually try and save them and you go down yourself. That happens way too often. Um, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. So even though we've been building tanky, we're still dishing out significant amounts of damage. Pretty, pretty nice. I'm hoping that we will reach level 20 soon so I can showcase the death march. Um, as you can see though, we did win a bunch of team fights earlier and while we aren't looking super powerful here, um, we can definitely still win this. We can definitely come back here. Okay, they are doing boss. Okay, okay, quick, 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 quick. Oh god, this is scary. We're not level 20 yet. Death marching, death marching, death marching. I am sadly very small right now, and yeah, no, we, we can't do this. So they detect the boss. Oh god, I am way out of position here. Trying to be as smart about my abilities as I can. Artis is going in though. I'm just going top now. Later, nerds. <laughs> Later, nerds. This is not a good thing though, because obviously they will have... Um, I don't know when they're coming in. Like, they could very well be right after me and I wouldn't see them. Gotta be careful here. Don't want to dismount yet. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we got the top one. No, we don't. Oh, shit. No, Loka, no! Aha! I tried being smart right there. I probably should have taken a watchtower now I think about it. Yeah, that was a bit of an overextension on my end. I, I hoped that Artis would come top with me as well, and he did, but he went a little later. So we didn't quite have the time to grab the watchtower. But it's all good. We're gonna go for the death march right here. Uh, I probably should have actually stayed around, but you can see, like, whenever I use these abilities, um, I will start doing, um, you know, I will start using, um, or, like, reducing my cooldown. So right now, 20 seconds, boom, 5 seconds. It's a massive amount of extra healing. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> In-game at the moment. All good, though. We'll have to, um, 
We have to make sure that we clean up this creep wave, though. Alright, let's get back in. Lots and lots and lots and lots of damage. Alright, let's see if we can go in here. Death marching away. Giving me all kinds of healing here. Sadly, it's just not working out, right? We're not getting really the damage that we need. I mean, we just do not have enough damage here. I may end up falling here again. Yeah. I don't know, for some reason I'm topping the hero damage, which should not be happening in this. Oh, actually, Sylvanas just barely caught up, but this should not be happening at this point in the game. Like, we have a Butcher and we got, uh, you know, we got you know, other heroes in this game that should be much better at dealing damage, but a Butcher actually got super low hero damage. But it's all good. Let's hope they cannot finish the game here. No, I don't want to give this one up. Oh well. Either way though, they should have introduced the Butcher just fine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I'm afraid we will not be able to hold this one. Either way, it is going to be a loss. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.